Hello and welcome back to your own channel Indian Defense Analysis where we bring to you all the latest development happening in the defense sector. The engine development is the most complex engineering work that requires expertise as well as experience in the metallurgy. At present, India heavily relies on western countries for supplies of engines which powers its main battle tanks and infantry combat vehicles. We have also reported how the delay in supply of engine by German firm MTU has delayed the development of light tanks. DRDO has to finally get the Cummins engine from America for its light tank development to go on. Therefore, it's important that Bharat becomes self-sufficient in engine development so that it does not have to rely on Western countries. This will enable Bharat to take various geopolitical decisions independently without the influence of Western world. Apart from this, Bharat can save a lot on forex, develop industrial ecosystem and generate more employment in the country. If we talk about engine requirement of Indian Army, it's mostly around its armored vehicles and infantry combat vehicles. The main battle tank of Indian Army such as Arjun tank requires an engine which has 1400 to 1500 horsepower. At present, Arjun tank is powered by German-made MTU liquid-cooled turbocharged diesel engine of 1400 horsepower. The light tank which is under development needs 1000 horsepower engine and the infantry combat vehicles such as Tata DRDO WAP needs 600 horsepower engine. So we can broadly say these are three types of engine that is needed by Indian Army. Now if you look at DRDO's official website, the organization is developing three types of diesel engines. The first one is 1500 horsepower engine for battle tanks. Second one is 600 horsepower engine for infantry combat vehicles. And the third one is 180 horsepower for naval applications as well as unmanned aerial propulsion systems like Tapas and Rustam 2 UAVs. In the year 2020, the BML CMD has confirmed that the firm has taken up a project for design, development and supply of 1500 horsepower engine along with CVRD. BML will supply these engines to CVRD for production of Arjun main battle tank and license manufacture of Russian tanks such as T-90 Bhisma. This engine will also power the future main battle tank which is being developed by CVRD. On 8 July 2022, BML has also inaugurated their engine design and development center at their Masur complex which will center for development of 1500 horsepower engine along with other engines. The 1500 horsepower engine on which BML is working is the part of 1500 horsepower power pack developed by CVRD for the next generation main battle tank program and future inventory vehicles of Indian Army. The work on the engine has started way back in 2010. The engine is being designed to work in extreme environmental conditions. This will be India's first high-powered 1500 horsepower engine. In the year 2021, CVRD has planned various ground trials of the main engine along with turbocharger after which engine will be integrated with uh, Arjun main battle tank prototype. Post integration with Arjun tank, the engine was planned to go through various tests but there is no further official information on this. Now talking about 1600 horsepower engine, the CVRD has also taken the initiative to develop indigenous engine to power the futuristic combat vehicles. In this regard, CVRD has designed 600 horsepower AB initio, which is compact, efficient, lightweight due to the incorporation of advanced technologies. The engine is comparable to the contemporary battle tank engines. The Ashok Leyland Chennai, a leading automotive industry, is identified as development production partner by CVRD for the manufacturing of these 600 horsepower engines. On 15th December 2021, the test facility for this engine was inaugurated at Ashok Leyland Engine Development Facility in Chennai. Now, recently, DRDU has published its 2023 year end review video. In the video, DRDU has first time showcased Datron 1500 horsepower engine to be used for the main battle tank. The first prototype of this engine has been successfully test fired in the year 2023, which is a very welcome news. 
DRDU has also shared the test bed images for the 1500 horsepower engine which you can see on your screen. While officially not confirmed but most, most likely this engine will be used in Bharat power pack as well. DRDU has also showcased a 600 horsepower engine for infantry combat vehicle and this engine has completed more than 100 hours of successful test run. Both these news are very important for India's indigenous engine development program. And if DRDO gets right front and focus, very soon Indian tanks and infantry combat vehicles will be powered by Indian engines and not German or American one. This was today's update. Please let us know your views on this in comment section. If you like the video, do not forget to like, share and subscribe. With this, I would like to say goodbye and Jai Hind. We'll be soon back with more interesting and amazing development happening in the defense sector.